everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the Jellycomb multi-device Bluetooth keyboard. This is a keyboard that you can use with your iPhones or your iPads and it looks like it's going to be pretty doggone awesome. It has the keyboard and a trackpad. So we're going to unbox it, take a look at it, and then pair it up with my iPad and see how this thing performs. So here we go. All right, as we do, let's go ahead and take a quick look around this box. And we can see here, it is going to show us what the keyboard is actually going to look like. On this side, just a little bit of branding right there. Nothing on that side. A little bit of branding on that side. Nothing on that side. On the back, we have a, uh, another look at the keyboard here. But we are going to go ahead and open this thing up. So we're going to get a real look at this keyboard and see what it's going to look like. And there it is. Look at that. All right. I like that. Let's uh, let's get that out of the plastic there and take a look. It looks like we're also going to get a, uh, it looks like a, a power cable. It's going to be a micro USB to USB A. And we're going to get a user manual um, that we can get there. And they also have a warranty card in the, uh, in the package there. So um, yeah. All right. Let's take a look at that. We can see here that, um, that we're going to have these little feet here on the bottom that we can use to make sure that it's that the uh that the keyboard stays in place there's a little bit of a lift right there and then we also have an on off switch right there so all right now on the front it looks like a bona fide full size keyboard so we can type here and be comfortable we have fn keys right there we have our bluetooth keys uh right here and we have, and it looks like because this is a multi-device thing, so you can set it up so you have Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. So maybe you have one set up for your uh, iPad, one set up for your iPhone, and maybe you have one set up for like your Fire Stick or something. So yeah, and we have uh, the trackpad here with the left and right mouse clicks there. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a straight legit keyboard. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, see if this thing works well. So I'm going to grab my iPad and uh, and then we'll go ahead and pair it up and we'll see how this thing actually performs. All right, so I have the keyboard paired up right here and yeah, this thing works really, really nicely. It's smooth, it's simple, it's easy. So we can see here the cursor is right on here and as we get over top of the different um, you know, the different thumbnails or tiles there, you can see how it sort of uh, lifts up a little bit and uh, jiggles a little bit. And if we wanna come down here, to our, uh, to our little um, you know dock right there, we can go and click on different things. So let's say I wanna come here and go to uh, Google Docs. I can open that up. I can go hit the plus button right there. I can choose new document and I can go ahead and I'm just gonna leave it as, un, uh, un, actually I'll just call it a uh, test document. There we go, we can call it test and I'll hit create. And now we can start typing. I can just put in, hello, how are you? you know, and uh, and we can just start typing away. And if I wanna go down to the dock and go back home, I just go all the way to the bottom there and uh, click and it's just back home that easy. Now, it's just super simple. I can go to anything that I want and open it up and I can, uh, I can go over here, click that, you know, if I wanna go to, let's see, let's scroll down a bit here and, um, and see where we can go. And there we go, we can scroll and, uh, and you can see how we get that. You just do the two finger scroll, sort of just like you would on a magic trackpad and, uh, and get right to wherever it is that you wanna go. So if I wanna go to my books, I can click on my books there. I can see here is a book, uh, say my uh, Captain America book, I can click that right there. And we can see it's gonna take a long time to open because I don't actually have it downloaded onto my device. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click out of that. But we can see how easy it is to actually navigate around and we can go back to wherever it is we want to and we can click anything on here that we want to. It just makes using your, uh, your iPad very, very quick and easy and snappy and you can just see how fast this thing really is. It's, it's really quite amazing. And uh, yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go back here. And if I wanna go back again to my home screen, I can just come all the way down to the bottom click right there and uh, and go back to the home screen. That's actually taking me to the dock right there to my photos app, but there we go. Now we're back on my home screen and it's, it's just really, really nice. And so, yeah, you can go anywhere you want. I can click in here, click in here and go to my, uh, to my photos and I can, uh, and I can two finger swipe over and, uh, and go to the next one. I believe I can go to the next one here if I can get it to go over 
And let's see, I think I might be at the end. Let's just go ahead and tap one right there. And let's see if I can two finger swipe over there. So maybe I have to, let's try three finger. Nope, not getting the, not getting the full swipe. It's starting like it's going over, but it's not fully going over. So um, yeah, I'll have to figure that out and see if I can get there. But I can definitely come down here and I can either click, um, I can click on the, uh, the right left arrows and I can go over to the next one uh, just like that. And, uh, and it's super easy to just click over with the right and left arrows so that I can get to wherever it is I want to. And I can just hold it down and scrub right through all of those and see all kinds of great stuff on there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. This thing is really, really nice. Um, it, it's super easy to use. It's super, uh, it's just super convenient to have a keyboard like this, especially a full size keyboard that is Bluetooth and I can use this on multiple devices. So if I want to use this on my iPad, and then let's say I want to also use it on my uh, smart TV, maybe I have a fire stick or something, I want to use it on there, or maybe I want to use it on my computer. Um, it just makes it super easy to do because you have those three buttons on there that you can use to actually, um, to select which, um, which um, Bluetooth you want to use at the time, which Bluetooth channel, and then you can use that Bluetooth channel. It just makes it super easy and super awesome. So yeah, I mean, there it is, pretty simple. I'm loving this thing so far. Um, you know, it's great if you, wanna, if you wanna just, you know, I like this because maybe you don't wanna use your, uh, maybe you don't wanna use the touch screen. Maybe you just wanna use your, uh, your keyboard and just go ahead and scroll through stuff easily and quickly, and this is gonna allow you to do so. So yeah, this is, uh, this is really nice. This is, this is definitely, definitely really, really nice. You know, I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic. Um, and I'm gonna recommend this to people because if you have an iPad or an iPad Pro or something like that, and you wanna use your iPad for uh, productivity, maybe for typing papers or writing scripts or taking notes, all kinds of stuff, but you don't wanna pay $300 for the, uh, for the, iPads, uh, keyboard, the magic keyboard or whatever it is, this is an option for you. This is a straight up legitimate, great option for you that you can use to take with you anywhere. It's small enough, it's light enough. And right here, as we can see, I'm just using a Go Donut. So I just have a standard Go Donut on here that I put my iPad on. I have the keyboard sitting right here and I can type away and use this as if it was any sort of other computer. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Jellycomb K200 Bluetooth keyboard. This is a multi-device keyboard so that you have three different Bluetooth channels that you can use so that you can hook up, say, your iPad and then maybe an iPhone and maybe a computer or whatever three devices you want. And yeah, it is absolutely fantastic. You can see how thin and light this is. You're gonna get a full size keyboard, it feels like here, and a trackpad with the right left, uh, right left uh, mouse clicks on there. Super, super awesome. Now this thing is really gonna come in handy because I have a couple of little mini PCs to review. I have these Mealy PCs. This is one that has the HDMI plug on there so I can plug this right into my TV set or a monitor. I have this other one. This is a Me the Mealy Quieter 2, which is a little, uh, also another miniature PC. And because they're small, they don't come with keyboards. And so you're gonna need a way to actually navigate around in here. And so it's gonna be really, really nice that I can set these up with this Bluetooth keyboard, with the Jellycomb Bluetooth keyboard, and then I can just navigate around using the trackpad or using the keyboard. When it comes to typing in a website or something, I can just simply type it in and have it just like that. It'll be super easy and super awesome. And yeah, it's just gonna, I'm really, really looking forward to using this because this is gonna come in some serious, serious handy. And I love the fact that there are three Bluetooth channels on there so I don't have to constantly worry about disconnecting one, connecting the other. I simply hit those Bluetooth buttons on there and I can activate the channel that I need. So yeah, anyways. There you have it. I'm gonna leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And 
I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.